Hello folks, Jim here from Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV. I have with me here today co-host of our show, Shane Cannon. And we want to introduce a new, uh, new products to you that you know we have throughout the year. We just come back off from a, a fantastic squirrel hunt here in uh, Yancey County. And we have a couple of squirrel calls here that I want Shane to demonstrate to you a little bit. So a lot of you guys out there that are, that are looking to purchase one, you'll be able to hear how they sound. Shane, if you would, just go ahead and uh, maybe show the Barker call there and show us how you use it up here in, in the woods. Uh, he, makes, he makes the distress call sound better than I do. It really sounds good. I didn't know the distress call even sounded that great, but if you would, just demonstrate him a little bit, Shane. Well, the bark calls him. Uh, I've noticed if I cap my hand over the end just to barely muffle it, uh, you can do that and get a little deeper sound like a... Okay. If you want a deeper sound. Right. Okay. Or, you know, a younger squirrel, just leave it open. Okay. But especially that, especially if you got one on the ground and you can't get it to come up where you can see it, or maybe if it runs around on the back side of a tree, that's a fine call to, to get them to come around to where you can get a shot. Um, right. And that's got a real realistic sound. I oh, mean, yeah. The way Definitely. squirrels bark out there in the woods. Yeah. And uh, the other one you have is a distress call. Now, what does that, uh, what does that call primarily sound like? I mean, what is it? What is that call for? Well, to me, it's more of a a, a two-step call. Okay. Uh, you can either use it as a distress, or you can use it as a as a squall. Uh, a lot of times, when you see a sound heat and boars are chasing, that's what you were saying. Yeah. They also do the same. It's Kind of in between a, a squall and distress. Okay. Uh, just a like a kind of a squeaky sound. Right. But uh, that's the way that I found them a lot of times. During a, a distress would be a long, drawn out, like you'd be doing a coyote call. Right. And uh, that would be just what, just kind of pecking away at it, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Just. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, but like I say. About any time you see any chasing or fighting or whatever over right. the sail, they will make that sound. Okay. Um, or you could, like you say, use it as a drawn-out distress call right. or try to call in right. a code. Right, or right, right. But uh, All right, well, there you go, guys. We just want to take a few minutes here out of our squirrel hunt, and, and I was going to want to, because uh, Shane did such a good job at, at using them up there in the woods, I really, I really wanted him to show you exactly how they sound. So if you want to get you one, you can get them on our Amazon store, you can get them on our eBay store, or you can go to carolinaoutdoorsupply.com, and you can get one there. Thanks a lot, Shane. Thank you.